what are some of your memories growing up? I used to work in the fields. I was, I was born on a plantation, on a plantation, and I used to work in the field. I had to pick cotton. I had to cut spinach in the winter time when the ice was on it with my bare hands. It didn't have gloves on. And our hand was so frozen that you couldn't even feel it. On the plantation, right over there, down the road. And I came through a lot, hard times. Then I ended up being a single mother. I raised my other two, my two daughters alone. And I'm very happy to say that they both got an education. And I, I was very, very pr proud of them because I was not able to get an education when I was, when I was young. Tell us what you remember about Martin Luther King Jr. I remember everything that he went through, all the marches and everything. I weren't there in person, but we watched him on television, you know. And <clears throat> I wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't. There right. were, financially, I couldn't. But I really wanted to be there because I re realized what a change he was trying to make. And he did make a big change. Yes, Tell us your experience with racism. I didn't know anything about sitting in the back of a bus because on James Island, we didn't have a bus, mm -hmm. right? We did not have a bus. We went to town in the, first, we used to go on a, on a ferry boat, right, right past this church to Dill Bluff on a ferry boat to take all the vegetables. My father was a farmer. The vegetables and the chickens and the pigs and everything went on the ferry into the market in Charleston. And then, later on, they opened the road up that you could drive into Charleston instead of going to the ferry. I was here a long time. Uh, do you agree with that? Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about President Obama being elected? I was so proud with going through King and all the things that I went through. and. When I heard that a black man was running for president, it made me so happy. <clears throat> and I was able to go to every school and shook his hand when he came to Charleston. Before, while he was running, you know. And the night that he was elected, I cried like a baby. I was in my home alone. And I really cried because I knew from where we came from. Right. I'm here today to tell you, these are my best days. Wow, that's very really Yes, they are.